this is a Twitch 1290 fan, and uh, that's my real name uh, underneath. And uh, I'm going to talk to you today about the death penalty by lethal injection. Uh, this is uh, basically a PowerPoint presentation that went along with an oral and written presentation that I had to do for my English for college prep class. And it was worth a total of 600 points, and that was about 56 to 70 percent of my final grade. And it was graded in two different things, like I said before, an oral and a written report. On the oral report, I got a perfect 300, and the written report, I got a 243 out of 300. So, I'm going to start the presentation now, so here we go. Well, the first things first, I'm totally alright with the death penalty, but I do have a problem with lethal injection as the death penalty. The history behind the death penalty. Capital punishment, also known as the death penalty, is the sentence of death upon a person as committed capital crimes or offenses. A well-known death penalty charge is first-degree murder and rape of a minor under the age of 14. Death penalty goes all the way back to the 8th century BC when a king made a rule book of 25 different types of crimes that he could be executed for. I was surprised to find out that murder was not one of them. Now I'm going to do a little history about lethal injection. Lethal injection got its start in Nazi Germany, originally used in the course of the Nazi influenza program against the country's physically and intellectually disabled children and adults in the 1930s in early 1940s. The U.S. ventured into the lethal injection game in 1977 when an Oklahoma pastor and legislator named Bill Wiseman and the state's medical examiner Jay Chapman made an attempt to develop a method of executing inmates that would be less gruesome than that electrocution. Oklahoma became the first of many states to adopt lethal injections as a means of executing inmates. Lethal injection was first used in the United States on December 2, 1982, when the state of Texas killed Charles Brooke Jr. Some other states that have this uh, uh, execution technique are Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Idaho, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maryland, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Mexico, North Carolina, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Virginia, Washington, and Wyoming. That's a total of 35 states out of the 50 states, and that's about 70% of the states have this type of execution. What are the chemicals in lethal injection? The chemicals are, and I put them in the order that they are supposed to give them in, give them to you. Sodium thiprothal, which is an anesthetic intended to put the inmate to sleep. Bacromium bromide, which paralyzes the entire muscle system and stops the inmate's breathing. And potassium chloride, which stops the heart. Should lethal injection be a choice to end a prisoner's life? I don't think so. Why? I have five good reasons. One, it's a sissy way out. Two, the execution can be botched or messed up. Three, it's in private room. Four, the news could say that the inmate passed but really didn't. And five, the person administrating the juice could give it to the person in the wrong order. And the order that I told you before is the order that they're supposed to give it to you. Could you imagine being paralyzed and then your heart stopping? while you're not asleep, how terrifying would that be? Some other ways that we could use to end prisoners' lives are hanging, the electric chair, also known as Old Sparky, and the shooting squad. Okay, I'm going to now do the history behind uh, the three that I just showed you. And as you can see, I'm going to be doing the first, the history behind hanging. Hanging is one of the most ancient forms of execution. 
In hanging, the noose must be placed under the right ear of the prisoner in order to break the neck. If it was on the left side, it would knock them out or decapitate them. Did you know back in the Old West, there was a man by the name of Tom Horn? And the, the only thing was, nobody wanted to pull the lever, because Tom Horn was a respected lawman. So what they did was they modify, modified the gallows. Tom Horn died on the Julian gallows, which the Julian gallows, basically, Tom Horn hanged himself. The way that this hanging worked was the trapdoor was connected to a lever, lever which, uh, which pulled a plug from a barrel of water. This would cause a lever t with a counterweight to rise, pulling the support beam under the gallows. When enough pressure was applied, this would cause the beam to break free, opening the trap and hanging the lawman. The electric chair and the history behind it. The electric chair started out was started out by the electric war set out by Thomas Edison and George Westinghouse. The war, the war was between two types of electric current, AC or alternating current, and DC, direct current. Sorry guys, not the band AC-DC. Westinghouse favored AC, while Edison favored DC. Westinghouse is a term for electrocution. It's, it got its name by the first electrocution. It took three tries to kill the prisoner. The state that still have this as an option to execute inmates are Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Kentucky, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia. That's about 16% of the states in the United States. The shooting squad. Executions by firing squad or shooting squad date back as far as firearms themselves, but only two people have been executed by firing squad in the United States in recent years, in 1977 and in 1996, respectively. It still remains an option for death row prisoners in Idaho, Oklahoma, and Utah. My solution to lethal injection is public hanging. Why public hanging? One, what does it teach? What does lethal injection teach our kids? It teaches our kids if they, if they're thinking of becoming part of a gang or killing somebody, they know that the only thing that will happen to them is they'll be be put to a peaceful eternal sleep. Like I stated before, I think public hanging would be good to stop crimes from happening in the United States of America. You're probably uh, wondering why I wanted to go back to the days of the Old West, when public hanging was king. Think about this for a minute. During the Old West, how did they stop gangs and thugs? Simple. They hung them. That's after a fair, a fair and speedy trial. The reason why I think we should go back to public hanging is if we let our children see what happens to bad people, what does it teach them? It teaches our children not to do the stuff that man or woman did, and it would reduce the crime rate. Also, for the people that are, are in gangs and stuff, would think to themselves, what if that person was me, or one of my friends? I think public hanging should be enforced as the first way to execute a prisoner. And plus, it's a quick death instead of taking 10 minutes, it takes seconds. If they want to appeal the court's decision on public hanging, the other choices would be the electric chair or the shooting squad. Some people say hanging is a cruel, an un a cruel and unusual punishment. But if you actually think about it, hanging kills a prisoner faster than the electric chair, shooting squad, and the lethal injection combined. The problems with uh, public hanging is when the person to be placed on the trap door, the noose must be put under the right ear so it breaks the neck, killing them instantly. If it was on the left, the neck would not break and the person would die by suffocation or decapitation. Ouch.
The people who I think would be interested in this topic are the Attorney General and the Governor of the State. Why is the Attorney General and the Governor of the State? First off, I'll start, with, start off with the Attorney General. The Attorney General is the head of the, US, the United States Department of Justice. Who is the current who is the current attorney general? The current attorney general is Eric Holder. He's the eighty second person to hold this position since it started in seventeen eighty nine. The attorney general started thirteen short years after America got its freedom from Britain. Also, I think he would be interested in other ways of executing inmates. And the governor of the state because he or she has a direct line of contact to the local governments of the state. Well, if you have a better idea for the death penalty, comment below. 